As a council member, you have a responsibility to watch how taxpayers and ratepayers' money is spent. How would you safeguard public funds? Well, I'm a physically responsible person, obviously, but the first thing you have to do is the council has to be aware of the current situation of the city, and it is my intention to request from Mr. Olson, our new city manager, that he provide a statement of condition to the council on a quarterly basis. It is my belief that the city does not really know what their assets, liabilities, and net worth is. I believe the city's probably in very good financial condition, but uh, no one really knows that. And the reports that the staff in the past has provided to council are useless, in my opinion. What experience do you have in financial management? How will you use that experience on the council? Well, I've operated Wells Laundry for some 40 years now. Uh, I built it from nothing up until uh, now, and we are currently about to acquire eight stores, so obviously I have some experience. Uh, I'm very hands-on, and I've uh, not only handled the finances, but every other aspect of the business. And uh, It is a small business, but I have uh, grown it into a very financially stable business. I have served as uh, the treasurer and chairman of the board of the Eagles Arts Theater, which is a small organization, but very challenging also. I've served as president and treasurer of the Texas Coin Laundry Association, again, a fairly small organization, but uh, it has its challenges. And I've also served as chairman of the board and treasurer of the National Coin Laundry Association, which is a fairly large organization. And, uh, uh, I was on the board in the years like 2008 when we were going through a recession and uh, we managed to uh, come through that and maintain our status as a strong organization. Assuming you have no additional money <clears throat> or the city has no additional money, what is your plan to attack Colleen's violent crime concerns? First of all, our, I have full respect for Mr. Baldwin and Ms. Young, our current uh, acting police chief. However, I believe the city manager should hire a new police chief who understands the current crime situation. Uh, people and crime have changed and policing must change to respond to that reality, I believe. What are your top three priorities as a council member and how you accomplish them? Well, obviously crime, which we just discussed, we have to get crime under control because people do not feel safe and are reluctant to move to Colleen, Texas, and that is an issue that follows through with other issues that I'm about to discuss. Uh, next, we must stabilize our city government. We are in a position to greatly benefit from Fort Hood as it expands uh, because whether you're Republican or Democrat, Donald Trump is the president and he intends to build the army back up and we have a great opportunity here and that requires us to have a stable government that can work with the officials at Fort Hood. Okay. Beyond that, the third thing, obviously jobs, that's on everyone's mind. Uh, I think you have to tear down barriers the designation of Highway 190 as Interstate Highway 14 is one of those barriers that's about to fall and that will allow jobs to come into clean or encourage them to do so at the very least. I believe we are acquiring new jobs and better jobs in clean. Texas A&M University is providing jobs. The new hospital at, at uh, Darnell at Fort Hood is providing jobs. It's just that our population is increasing more rapidly than job creation, but uh, I believe a stabilizing the city government will uh, encourage companies to locate here in the future. On that note of creating new jobs, what would you do to attract new businesses or industries that bring high paying jobs to Colleen? Again, I think I answered that probably before, but tearing down barriers, uh, as I said, uh, will do that and, uh, you know, I don't know that I can do it, but Austin is moving toward Colleen every day. If you drive back and forth between the two, you see they are coming this way. And we have the largest employer in the state of Texas as our next door neighbor, and I believe that is our best opportunity to acquire companies that are associated with the military. 
Beyond that, if you look at other communities and towns such as Temple, they created their own businesses and industries. Ralph Wilson Plastics was originated by a gentleman from Temple, Texas. Scott and White Hospital, it was Dr. Scott and Dr. White from Temple that started that. People in Colleen have to start businesses and export products, services, and information worldwide, and we have the, that opportunity here.